Imagine an Arduino board at the center of a process. On one side, we have the industrial world, machines, sensors, motors, and large control panels. On the other side, the Arduino with its simple logic levels of 5 volts, digital pins, and user code. The challenge is that industry does not use the same signals as Arduino. Industrial devices often work with 24 volts, 4 to 20 milliamp signals, or communication buses such as RS485. If we connected them directly, the Arduino would be damaged. To solve this, we use interface modules as bridges. Relay boards allow Arduino to control pumps, motors, or lamps. Optocouplers and level shifters protect the Arduino and adapt voltages. Current loop converters let it read 4 to 20 milliamp sensors for temperature, pressure, or flow. RS485 transceivers enable communication with PLCs and networks using Modbus RTU. With these bridges in place, the Arduino can now interact with industry. It can read process values such as tank levels or motor speed. It can send commands to actuators, like opening a valve or starting a machine. It can also exchange information with controllers and forward data to monitoring systems or the cloud. In summary, Arduino acts as a translator between the digital logic we program and the robust, high-voltage environment of industry. Of course, Arduino by itself is not recommended for integration into critical industrial processes. Arduino is a platform with many different hardware options, and its use must always be evaluated for suitability and cost efficiency. When applied, proper electrical considerations and protections must be taken into account. Join us in this series as we explore the features of Arduino in Modbus communication.